Welcome back, Game Slayers, and welcome to another Animal Crossing Island tour. Today we're touring Stephanie's Island, which is themed like the series Supernatural. I am super excited for this tour. I have only seen the first season of Supernatural, so I do hope there aren't too many spoilers. I have asked Steph to let us know on the way round what things are, so I don't miss any important bits for you Supernatural fans. So let's get to it. Absolutely loving the entrance so far. We've got lots of spooky decor here. Let's just let Steph know we're ready to go. Loving the use of Halloween items as well. We've got the pirate barrels on the sides with the model scorpion and tarantula and some skeletons, of course. Absolutely loving the use of terraform and here it does feel like we're going into a supernatural woods or, or I don't know. Let's wait and see what Steph says. <gasps> okay, <laughs> we're going to hell. Not quite the woods, but I'm ready to go. Oh, I love the use of the three rock arches there. Makes it feel like a bit of a tunnel. And of course, we've got our spooky villagers as well. Okay, we're going right. I will show you the map now as well, just while we're waiting here for Steph. So just look at the map. Oh, that is amazing. There is the dream address there if you do want to visit. And I absolutely love the fact that she's done some skull lakes as well just check out the village just quickly we've got side i can't say his name lucky rodeo roscoe cherry muffy matilda tiffany humphrey and rattle which all suit the theme perfectly just double check what she said some spooky homes okay fab let's go if i'd remember to show you the map at the beginning that would have been helpful Okay, going down to the spooky beach. Oh. I love that we've got weeds on the beach here. They don't grow, so they look really effective. So this is Death Beach. Oh, wow. We've got the cauldron there with some blood. I don't want to know what's been cooking in there absolutely love this use of the festival lighting as well it looks really effective even though it's meant to be a spooky beach because she's used the more orangey colored festival stuff it just suits perfectly it doesn't look out of place at all oh i love this blanket and we've got the little devil worship area over here along with the skull as well with some blood that is terrifying not sure i'd want to find myself stranded on this island if i'm perfectly honest but it is looking amazing nevertheless spellcaster okay so you supernatural fans are gonna get these references more than i do but i do appreciate the work that has gone into this island already the beaches are full the use of custom paths on the floor as well that has that's just well it's awesome i've seen a lot of custom paths on the beach but it just ties in really nicely with the weeds and the flowers which she's plucked as well not sure i want to go to sleep on a dead body but it does look amazing so far i can't wait to see the rest of the island got sahara here we can eat. Oh my gosh, <laughs> I don't want to know what we're eating. Got more spooky blankets on the floor. Got more. Oh, oh, we can sit on this. Got more spell casting areas. Love the use of the mushroom on the beach. 
even though this is the beach, the way that everything's laid out, it could, it could be med rather than sand. What's your fortune? Okay, so we've got a fortune teller area. Fab. Love the customised lanterns. Oh, Godzilla's right there. I love the pathway as well. It's very similar to the, the very popular path that a lot of people use, but in black. And I don't know if you can see that. I'm going to zoom in because I think that's really cool. You can see there's little skulls in the flooring as well, which is really cool. So we've got another beach here with some terrifying crabs, and lots of more, lots more blood as well. Love the use of the rocks as well. This just fits perfectly here. I wish I had big rocks on my island to do something with, but I don't, unfortunately. So what is this area? I love her outfit as well. She looks so cute. The girl fell in the well. Oh my gosh. I hope it's not Samara from the ring. Love that. I love the fact that we've come and done the beaches on the right hand side first as well. It's quite a clear path right up the beach as well, which is nice. Okay, so we've got UFO. Aliens are coming. Oh gosh, I think there are going to be some spoilers in this island. I might not need to see the series now. Okay, where to next? Okay, where are we going? We've got some trees here which separate the beach nicely. Oh, we need a ladder. Thank God I remember to bring one. Okay, are we going up? Or are we going across? Okay, we're going up. I am guessing that she's showing us that she has done this skull here, which is amazing. I'm going to use my camera so you can see from above how awesome is that skull garden. And you can see it on the map as well because she's used terraforming. That looks awesome and very fitting with the spooky sort of supernatural theme. I love that. Oh, I jumped across. Oh, and there's little pumpkins there. The attention to detail as well. There, there isn't many bits of this island which doesn't have something on there, but it, it looks great. It doesn't feel too cluttered. There's a lot of pathing on the floor and the, uh, the well, the work has gone into getting these black flowers as well. Okay, we need to go down. Absolutely loving it so far. If you haven't watched Supernatural, guys, there may be some spoilers in this island, but it's going to be totally worth it because this island is absolutely amazing so far. I love the use of the different paths on the floor. It just feels like I've walked into an episode of Supernatural, which is perfect for this theme. <laughs> Death for all. Okay. <laughs> I'm guessing we're going to be uh, cooking some people or putting them on the fire, burying them there in the little hole in the ground. Not terrifying at all. I do love this black path. It's great for spooky islands. I'd love to see it used on another island as well. There's a lot of depth in this island, a lot of terraforming, which I love as well. And all the houses fit perfectly. That is top marks for me. I absolutely love it when the villagers match the island theme. Because I know a lot of people have their dreamies, but 10 out of 10 for villagers that match. More beaches down here, somewhere to sit and chill out with the 
the Lumiere, the candle. More blankets on the beach. Death at the campsite. Ooh, okay. So is this where her campsite is? Yes, okay. Oh, I love this. Fits perfectly. It's a nice little place to put your campsite if you don't want to take up any room on your island. That looks fab. We have Rodeo. Loving everything about this island so far. It already feels like a massive island. I've only been here for a few minutes and it already feels huge the way that she's laid everything out. I love all the Halloween stuff. I absolutely love decorating for Halloween. So I'm very jealous that she's got it at this time of year as well. But it just fits perfectly. Okay, this feels like a witchy market or got the candles and the stalls and these like old Victorian style witchy clothes. Yes, witches. Okay, it got something right. Witches shop. Love that. Love everything about this. I like the fact that she's used the mud path, but just put stones on every other. It's not completely covered. I think that's really effective. Don't see that often. Absolutely loving this. It does feel like a witch's shop, like a witch's market. Yes. Absolutely love it. Give her a little round of applause to let her know that we love it. Okay, we, am I going the wrong way? That is why she's waiting for me, guys. I'm going the wrong way. Ooh. Oh, I just love it. I can't. I keep saying it, but I love it so much. Got the mush lights as well. Oh, okay. This is, oh wow. This is some sort of spooky worship forest. I absolutely love the lights because it's so dark, but it looks scary, but magical at the same time as well. I absolutely love this. This is the first time I'm seeing Steph's Island. And it definitely was worth the wait. Wow. That is fab. I forget to do reactions. I hope she knows I absolutely love it so far. Everything just fits so perfectly. Oh, we have another skull on the floor. That is very, very cool. Let's use the camera. I'll get out the way as well. Another skull. That is very well done because I know how hard that path is to work with as well. I have the path, the dirt path on my Jurassic Park island. But yes, I take my hat off to her for that. That is amazing. I love it. I have to let you know that I love it with a round of applause. That is fantastic. Okay, where to next? I'm not really sure. I seem to have lost all sense of direction because the island feels massive. I don't know if we're on the right hand side anymore or the left. I love these. The Mario items. Gotta, gotta get them to go down. Fab. Oh, okay. Is this some sort of workshop? Like I said, I've seen the first season, but it was a while ago now. So I don't know much about Supernatural, but I can still appreciate the work that's gone into this island. Okay, so this is a workshop. Oh, yes, we've got the race car bed. So it looks like uh, the cars have been fixed. That is fantastic. I think we're on the right hand side of the island. I'm gonna check quickly, just so I know where we are. Yes, we are. It doesn't feel like we're back right next door to the beach. That's how you know the island is well done. 
Wow. Okay, so we're at house number one. I'm going to see how many houses are on the island. It is just the one house. Okay, fab. So let's go. Is this going to be a haunted house or a spooky house? I do remember from the first series, obviously, there was um, the fire in the bedroom. Was it the mother that caught fire? I'm not sure. So we'll see what's inside. Okay, so is this some sort of office? Is it where they do their supernatural work? Demon research. Okay, that makes sense. Awesome. You need somewhere to research those demons. Oh, okay, we have a kitchen. Oh, I'm sorry, I killed both of your cockroaches at the same time. They are probably there intentionally, given the theme of the island. Dean loves pie. Oh, well, I love pie as well. So I'm glad Dean has his pie kitchen. I love this. It's, I would say it's simple, but it's really effective. It's simple and effective. We've got mum's pie, uh, we've got the shamrock pie mother's day pies love that we did start at the back normally people either go left or right so we're going left i do love the fact that she's got a wall pipe in the house that is definitely needed no matter what theme your island is Saves you running all the way to the airport. Oh, okay, we have a bedroom. So whose bedroom is this? Let's make myself at home. It is Dean's bedroom. Okay, fab. We've got guitar here. Love this bedroom. Even though it feels like a teenage bedroom. And I, from what I remember, I think Dean was a little bit of a... I'm not going to say a child, <laughs> but I think he liked his, his rock music and the sort of grungy feel bedroom. Love that. I wonder what's in the right, because people normally have their kitchen to the right. So let's see. Oh, okay, we have another bedroom. I'm guessing this is the very similar. Yes, Dean and Sam. So they both have a bedroom. That makes total sense. Where would they sleep after all their demon slaying? Love it. Again, simple but effective. Black. I didn't actually know you could customise. I think it's the antique furniture to be black. That is really nice. I think I might use that in my own house. Okay, so we're going upstairs. Oh, okay, so do we have a library? Oh, what's up there? So she's put the church organ, I think it is, the wedding organ. Yeah, behind the bookshelf, you'd never know unless you rotated. That's really cool. It gives it a bit more dimension. It's for research, yeah, that makes sense. Gives it more dimension. Never seen that done before. That looks really cool. Sorry guys, my joy comes went a bit mad then. Love that. And I wonder what is in the basement. I love it when people do every room in their house because I know how much work it takes to do them. Oh, okay. So we have a statue over here. And is this where people get demon torture chamber? Oh, okay, okay. But I was going to say, um, is it where people get exercised? Ex <laughs> you know what I mean? No, demon torture. Okay, that makes sense. Love it. Again, it just, you don't need a lot in a room like this. 
because it's just so effective on its own. I love that. And the, the rug is perfect for demon torture. We have a spoiled turnip as well. Because all demons hate turnips. Okay, so where are we going to go next? Like I said, there's only the one house on this island. So I don't think we've been to the left hand side of the island yet, so let's go. If you are thinking of doing a supernatural island, obviously this is great inspiration for you. Or even just a spooky island, um, any sort of spooky theme, this is perfect inspiration for that. The fact that she's managed to fill a whole island with this theme is amazing. Because I, I, I did some decorating for Halloween, but it was nowhere near on this scale. I absolutely love this. Okay, so we're going back through the witch's area. I'm assuming we need to go to the left of the island now. Like I said, I did ask her to let us know what areas we're going into because I want to do this island justice and I want you guys to get the references as well. Contamination area, okay. I'm not exactly dressed for the occasion. I'm dressed for my tropical island, but that's fine. We can slay demons in whatever outfits. So we've got more beaches, more blood stains. Oh, that's really cool. That got the den desks there in front of the fossil, which it all blends in seamlessly. So that looks very cool. Got more fossils on the beach here. Yes, yeah, so we've got the spooky beach. That makes sense. There isn't one part of this beach which isn't covered and I love that. Got more fossils on the pirate barrel. Another blanket, the pier for fishing, of course. She has a very long pier. Fishing for bodies. Oh, so it's not so innocent after all. I was shocked at that. I don't want to go fishing for bodies. Okay, so got these terrifying dolls we've got the sort of pentagram demon symbol on the floor i do absolutely love this idea of putting the den desk in front that's really effective i would cry oh okay <laughs> we're happy about that apparently laugh at my own incorrect reaction there but they are terrifying those dolls are in them on their own they don't even need to be on a spooky island they are terrifying oh wow this is another yes this is another skull sort of lake let's see what she says and then we'll get the map out just to have a look at it again skull lake yeah so this is the yeah the left hand corner of the map which i love that she put a lot of work into this terraforming and river building lucky's house got lucky's photo outside there got the throwback skull radios which suit the theme of this island perfectly also give it a nice little bit of ambiance there with the song i know a lot of people use kk dirge i think it is for the spooky island so i like that she's got something different dead bodies everywhere 
I see dead people. Oh, wow. Yes. Let's have a look. Let's appreciate this terraforming right here, if we can see it. So we've got the three layers of dead bodies. Cemetery. Okay, so we've got open graves over here. Don't fall in. Another skull on the floor. That's fab. We've got the gravestones here. The fire. It does look like a graveyard, which is great because that is what it's meant to be. Oh, whoa. Okay, we can see fire. This is... Oh, I really want to get over here. I want to see it from this angle. I wonder if we can go around. Pit of Hell. This looks absolutely amazing. And in front of the museum as well, it just looks so dramatic. It looks amazing. It does look like the fiery pits of hell. I love it. Everything about it. The fact that it's in front of the museum. It looks so dramatic. Absolutely amazing. I keep saying it, but I'm I am shook. Crowley's Lair. Okay, fab. So we got that as the museum. I am shooketh. I need to go over here. I need to see it. With the fossils as well. Oh, I need it. That's amazing. I'm so taken back by that. That's my favourite part of the island so far. It just looks so effective. I love it. I wish I could take a photo. I need a, a straight on photo of it. Okay, so we're going back through the cemetery. Am I in the way again? Yeah. Okay, where are we going next? Have we seen everything or is there more? This island does feel massive. Okay, so we didn't go up this side of the beach. Okay, this looks um, creepy. That's one word. It looks like an abandoned fairground or oh, haunted carnival. Okay. It does look very spooky. Can I set one of these off or is she going to kill me? Oh, okay. I didn't think it didn't do what I thought it was going to do. Oh, wow. This is terrifying and amazing at the same time. It looks really cool. Oh wow. And we've got... Oh, I need to use the camera. I need to see this in all its glory. Oh wow. That looks death do us part. Ah, oh, yes. I love that. I'm totally going to take a photo of this because that is very, very cool. I absolutely love that. And this is so creepy, but so cute at the same time. I love the festival stuff. I've used a lot of that on my island. Okay, so we're going, I think we're back at the middle of the island. We're back at the cemetery. So where are we going from here? Because we've been through here a couple of times now. So where is she taking us? Okay, back to the amazing fiery pit. Ooh, okay, I didn't even see this over here. I was so preoccupied with the, uh, the fiery pits of hell over there. Ah, uh, we have another skull river terraforming situation going on there Ooh, whoa this is very very cool i love the fact that she's used yes oh i thought it was just the light she's used the festival stage 
Oh, that looks very cool. It looks like it's on fire. Lucifer's cage. He's escaped. Oh my gosh. Okay, run away. Absolutely love this. That's so good. It's just done so well. Everything's so well thought out. I'm sure you super, Supernatural fans get all these references. I need to watch it now after this. It's definitely made my mind up. I have to start watching it again. Oh, are we stuck? <laughs> I think we might be stuck. Oh, okay, I'm through. Maybe I was just in the way. Okay, I think we're near the start again now. I think that might be, we might be coming to the end of the tour. I could be wrong because I've said that before and there's still so much to see. Oh, I'm a bit lost. I don't know where I meant to be going. Oh, I'm sitting down. That's why. Oh, okay. Ah, it's just a little sitting area. Fab. Hiding from the monsters. Ah, I would never have even known that was there. Look at that. That is very cool. And we're back at resident services. So let me just check where we are. Yeah, we're not far from the airport. So I wonder if there's any more to see. Resident headquarters, yes. I love the fact that it's you, you can't really see resident services because of all the trees, but you can see the big doors in the background. So it could be any building you want it to be. Okay, so we are back at the entrance now. So I think that is the end of the tour. Let's wait and see what she says. Hell has been good to you. You are right. I've made it out alive. I'm so glad I've made it out alive. I am so impressed by that island. Gotta give her a round of applause. That is amazing. I have to, have to, have to watch Supernatural now. Steph, thank you so much for giving us the tour of your supernatural island. That was absolutely amazing. If you did like this island, let me know in the comments below what your favourite part was. And if you haven't already, give this video a huge thumbs up and subscribe. So I'll see you again soon. Thanks. Bye.